Today, we'll be demonstrating basic cleaning and maintenance for your Jet Industrial Combination Belt and 12-inch Disc Finishing Machine. Be sure to reference your instruction manual for important safety instructions. Once you've disconnected the power source, you're ready to get started. When it comes time to replace your belt, first remove the lock knob and top cover, and then remove the side guard and table. Release the belt tension by turning the tension handle counterclockwise. Once the tension is released, you can remove the belt. Check the drums and platen for scoring or signs of wear, which might require service or replacement. Check the height of the platen with a straight edge, and if it is not 1 32nd of an inch above the drums, adjust it accordingly. Check the drums for looseness, which might cause tracking problems, and correct any loose condition by tightening or replacing any of the affected parts. Now slip the new belt onto the drums and platen. Adjust the tension handle clockwise until the belt is flat against the platen and there is no buckling of the belt in the middle. Now turn the drums by hand to see if the belt tracks close to true. Remember, just because the old belt tracked correctly, it does not mean the new belt will. To adjust the tracking, be sure to reconnect the machine to power. Now loosen the tracking lock knob and turn the motor on and off as necessary to observe the tracking and turn the tracking knob as necessary to guide the belt track to the center of the platen and drums. When the belt seems to be tracking correctly, turn the motor on and leave it running while fine-tuning the tracking. And once you're satisfied, lock the tracking lock knob. When the lock knob is secure, disconnect the machine from power. Replace the table, side guard, top cover, and lock knob, and then reconnect the power to the machine and return it to full operation. The need for required maintenance is often indicated by difficulty in adjusting the tension tracking mechanism. With the belt removed, take the two keys off the idler pin bracket, then wipe off and re-grease. Now reverse the previous steps to make the machine ready for reinstallation of the belt. To install new abrasive discs, start by peeling off the old abrasive disc. Clean the drive disc surface using a non-flammable solvent that will dry film free. Then, pull the protective backing half off the new abrasive disc and carefully position the new disc so it is centered on the drive disc. Once it is accurately centered, remove the rest of the protective backing and press the abrasive disc firmly against the drive disc so that complete adhesive contact is made. If you have any questions, please consult your instruction manual. Any additional servicing to your JET tool should be performed by an authorized service technician at one of our 750 authorized service centers located in all 50 states. Don't forget that each JET tool comes with our Red Assurance Guarantee. Contact our support team today to find a service center near you.